This is Jennifer Robinson with FTMDaily.com. We get the question all the time, how can I teach my children about money? The correct principles about money. Well, the first thing you can do if your children are younger and you have the opportunity is to homeschool your children. Many, many parents in America outsource their children's education to the public school system or even private schools. While this is very convenient for parents and very low cost, it, is, it comes at a sacrifice of the education. And so if you want your children to get the correct principles from the get-go, consider homeschooling and teaching them yourself. And then a couple of other things you can do if homeschooling is not an option, you can just simply begin to teach them a couple of principles that will help them as they grow older. The first one is teach them not to expect handouts. And this starts with the parents. So if you have a child who is turning 16, don't just assume that it's the thing to do to buy them a, a new car or even a used car for that matter. If they don't have a job, then maybe they shouldn't get a car. And then when they turn uh, 18, don't just assume that it's the parent's responsibility to pay for college. The average state university costs around 72 to $100,000 for four years of tuition and room and board. For a college degree and this is a huge expense and if the child doesn't have to bear any of the responsibility for this expense then that child as he or she grows into adulthood will come to expect entitlements and handouts the same thing goes for weddings when the child or the young adult decides to get married <clears throat> don't necessarily pay the twenty five thousand dollars which is the average cost of a wedding these days that's a lot of money, and if the, uh, if the child doesn't have to pay for this, him or herself, then they can expect these handouts as they grow older. The second thing you can teach your child is that saving money is a very good thing. And you can teach this to them in a multitude of ways. You can teach them to make their gifts that they give to others, and if they make their gift for no cost, then you can maybe put $20 into savings for them. You can also help them to understand that when they get an allowance or if they do work for money, that a percentage of it goes into savings. A good percentage for a child is anywhere from 50 to 80% even to go into savings. And so those are a few ways that you can teach your children the correct principles about money.